I'm back again with a topic that was suggested by one of your comments. I do have a couple of videos talking about hairstyles for big or long foreheads, but I've only really mentioned small foreheads very briefly in passing. So this is a great chance for me to dedicate a video to talking about small foreheads today and give you guys some hairstyle suggestions if you have a small forehead. Celebrity examples for today's content are Audrey Tatu, Zendaya, Gemma Chan, and Selma Blair. I think the first question that you might have if you have a small forehead is should I get bangs? And my answer to that is it depends. Huh? Contrary to what you might think, it actually all depends on the rest of your face apart from your forehead. Huh? If we were to not consider anything else but just focus on the size of the forehead, hiding your hairline with bangs makes sense if you have a small forehead. For example, if we compare these photos of Audrey Tatu, the size of Audrey's forehead becomes far less apparent when she's hiding her hairline with bangs. Selma Blair is another great example. Selma is actually a really unique case because horizontal proportions wise, her top third is about the same length as her middle third, but her forehead appears much smaller because she has a very narrow and triangular hairline. If we compare these two photos, the photo on the right is a Photoshop version of Selma where I haven't actually altered the length of her forehead, but I've just pushed back the sides of her hairline to make her forehead wider. And you can see how her forehead doesn't appear small at all when her hairline is pushed back. So for Selma, the length of her forehead from the top of her hairline down to her eyebrows is actually not short. So this style of curtain bangs that just hide the sides of her hairline works great for her proportions. But when we look at Zendaya or Jenna Chan, who also have small foreheads, bangs might hide the size of their foreheads, but because Zendaya and Gemma both have short faces as well, their faces appear even shorter and wider when they wear bangs. This is exactly what I mean when I say that whether or not you should get bangs really depends not on the size of your forehead itself but on the rest of your face and your proportions as a whole. For people like Audrey and Selma, it absolutely makes sense for them to wear bangs. But for Zendaya and Gemma, not so much. Another thing to note is that the style of your bangs is also going to be really important. For example, Audrey always keeps the length of her bangs above her eyebrows and there's a reason for that. If we look at the shape of Audrey's eyes, the outer corners of her eyes tend to slope downwards quite a bit. So she has what we would typically call puppy eyes or downturned eyes. And these kinds of eyes give you a certain innocence to your overall look, which Audrey definitely has. If you've ever watched the movie Amelie, the main character is super quirky and very, very adorable. And I think Audrey fit that role really well because of the innocent vibe that she has. But the thing about downturned eyes like Audrey's is that you want to make sure your eyebrows are lifted or sloped upwards to counterbalance the angles of your eyes because you want to prevent your eyes from looking too droopy. That means you also want to make sure that your eyebrows are visible, right? So the reason why someone like Audrey should keep her bangs short above her eyebrows is because of the shape of her eyes and we want to make sure that we can see the shape of her eyebrows. Even if you don't have downturned eyes, if your eyebrows are a big asset to your face, you want to make sure you keep them visible. For example, if we look at Zendaya, I've already said that no bangs is a better overall choice for her proportions, but if we had to choose a style of bangs for Zendaya, I would definitely choose a shorter style that's above her eyebrows than a longer style that covers mm -hmm. her brows. If you remember from my blunt bangs video, when you have a long top third or forehead, your eyes are naturally drawn to that area more. So opposite to that logic, when you have a small forehead, your eyes will naturally be drawn to the middle and the lower third of your face more. Zendaya has a small forehead and she also has a bit of a pointy chin, so she has a couple of features in her face that naturally draw our eyes downwards. But what keeps our focus on Zendaya's eyes is actually her eyebrows. She has very thick and heavily arched brows that help with bringing the focus to the upper half of her face and to her eyes. So for Zendaya, I think her eyebrows are one of her best assets and I'd be hesitant to cover them with bangs. If we compare these two photos, you can see how in the left photo our eyes kind of get lost and Zendaya's face loses its focal point but in the right photo our eyes are drawn to her eyes right away. The right photo also covers less of Zendaya's face so her face doesn't look as short as it does in the left photo. 
One more thing I want to note about bangs if you have a small forehead is the amount of hair for your bangs is also going to be really important. When you have a smaller forehead, a heavier style of bangs can easily look really clustered or just a little too heavy for your face. Or if you have a narrow or a very unique hairline like Selma Blair, the direction of your hair can also look a bit unnatural with the heavier style of bangs. So if you have a small forehead and you want to wear longer bangs that are at or below your eye brows level, I recommend a thinner style of bangs rather than blunt bangs and focus more on covering your hairline. Okay, so other than bangs, what else can you do if you have a small forehead? Volumizing your roots around your hairline is going to be the most important if you want to make your forehead appear a little bigger or more proportionate to the rest of your face. If we compare these two photos, we can see how Gemma's forehead looks bigger and just a little more open in the right photo when she has a lot of volume in her hair around her hairline. But if you have a triangular or a narrow hairline, volumizing the highest part of your hairline can actually work against you because it makes your forehead look longer and that's going to actually make it look even narrower. So be careful of this trick if you have a narrow hairline. What you want to do instead is you want to focus on adding more volume along the sides of your hairline rather than the top. If you can, try adding volume or using waves to add width in the back of your hair just at the same level as where your side hairline is to draw emphasis horizontally. Now when you're trying to decide where along the hairline to part, generally speaking a side part is going to be easy easier to add volume around your hairline than a middle part, but Again, if you have a triangular or narrow hairline, a side part will actually expose the part of your hairline that makes your forehead appear the smallest. So where you part your hair really depends on the shape of your hairline, but generally speaking, a side part will be easier to add volume to your hair than a middle part. But one trick that anyone can use regardless of the shape of your hairline is to wear a curved part. So instead of a straight line down the middle or the side of your head, use a curved line. That's going to help you with creating a bit more of a natural looking volume to your hair, especially if you usually struggle with volume, then this is a really good trick to use. If we compare these two photos, the hair looks less flat around the hairline with a curved part than a straight part. So I have some plans in the near future to start making more shorts videos that's going to focus on giving you more practical tips that you can actually follow along rather than just listen to me talk. And I'll make sure to do one on how to wear a curved part for your hair, so stay tuned for that. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, take a look at this playlist next for more hair and makeup tips based on your features and proportions. And don't forget to like and subscribe before you go. I'll see you in my next video, and until then, stay unique and stay gorgeous!